I bought the Casio DW290, looks like it belongs in an end of world apocalypse movie or alien sci-fi set. In fact, these watches can boast movie appearances and a host of famous wearers, and for me, mine makes a very capable sports watch. Features include time, date, alarm, countdown timer and stopwatch. Notice in stopwatch mode, we can still see the time, now displayed at the top. Having that dual function on the same display made this watch an immediate favourite when I'm out for a run. The big pushers are easy to use when you're on the move or if you're wearing gloves. With most resin band watches, I have to loosen the band one notch after a couple of miles, but this diver style watch band will expand here, making it comfortable without adjustment for the duration of my activity. I also found the watch band has holes that are quite close together, making it easy to find a perfect fit. If you intend to use it as a dive watch or to swim, it's very capable with a massive 200 meter water resistance. It has afterglow, the electroluminescence backlight stays on for a couple of seconds after one push, lighting the whole display. Oh, a little known feature, hold the top right button and notice the star appear here. That sets flash alert. Now it'll flash with the buzzer that sounds for the alarms or hourly time signals that you might have enabled. It's extremely lightweight despite its imposing appearance. I get just 55 grams. It's got a fairly low profile case of 14 millimeters and a short lug to lug measurement of 49, making it very comfortable to wear. With a kind of G-Shock like look meets retro styling and with its real world usability, this watch is a firm favorite from my Casio collection. I prefer it to both my G-Shock squares for its lack of complexity. I'm thankful it doesn't come with a negative display. It has a shorter lug to lug for better comfort and the same 20 bar water resistance and some shock resistance too. Also, you can put the DW290 on an aftermarket strap, maybe a NATO. You can't do that with the G-Shocks here unless you buy aftermarket adapters which I think look terrible. Check the description for my full review of the G-Shock DW5600 and GBD200 if you want to learn more about these two watches.